So here you are just surfing along in Windows like normal, and out of the blue, you get this nasty little message on your desktop. Activate Windows. Of course, you have no idea what's causing it. You have no idea what you did. All you know is that suddenly, half the stuff doesn't work anymore because your Windows has suddenly been deactivated. So today, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that and get you back on track. Stick around. Okay, so for this particular situation, there are a handful of different ways to attack the problem. For whatever reason, Windows is deactivated, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's actually been deactivated. So what we have to do is start with the basics and work our way to the more complicated. Okay, and so the easiest way in Windows 10 to get to the activation menu is try to change your wallpaper. That's the first thing that gets turned off when you get deactivated. So you can just right click on the desktop, left click personalize, and then in this menu here where you normally would change your wallpaper, you see you need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC. So first thing you wanna do is just try to activate it. Click activate Windows now and see what happens. Obviously you wanna make sure you are on the internet as well. Sometimes this happens because of a Windows update or some other glitch and simply clicking activate now gets you back up and running. It'll take a couple minutes and it will check with the Microsoft activation server and if there is a problem, it will immediately come back and give you that message again. So after a few minutes have gone by and Windows is still not activated, obviously that is not going to fix it. So the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a program called Malwarebytes. And this is a program I've used uh, for many, many years. It is a great program to find and detect anything that doesn't need to be running on the computer. You can get it at www.malwarebytes.org. I'll put a link down in the description below. It's totally free. And if there is some kind of bug running on the computer that is preventing Microsoft from activating this machine, this program will find it. So as you can see here, I'm just going to start a Malwarebytes scan and see what it finds on the computer. This is a simple way to not only potentially remove whatever is blocking your activation, but also if you have any bugs on the computer, this will get rid of them. So we'll let this run for a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, so the malware scan is done, didn't find anything. So we know it's not malware that is preventing the activation. Now, one thing the client did mention to me is that this all seemed to happen after a recent update. So I'm going to see if I can roll back to the previous version of Windows prior to the update, maybe there's something in the update that caused this problem. So I'm going to open settings by clicking on the start menu and clicking on the gear icon right here. And then when the settings window comes up, I'm gonna click on home and then update and security. As you can see here, it's still telling me I need to activate. So I'm gonna to go to update and, and take a look at Windows update and see if it will let me roll back from here. Now I'm going to go down here and click on View Update History. So I'm going to click on Uninstall Updates. And then I'm going to search here. As you can see, you can adjust it by date. And it looks like three updates were loaded at about the time the client said that he was having the problem, about a week ago. So it's likely one of these three that caused it. So I'm going to just start with the first one select it and click uninstall and removing these updates is not a big deal because as long as you have windows 10 it's still going to receive windows updates so you can re-download them properly again and hopefully you won't have this problem sometimes this happens if you download multiple updates at the same time and they will conflict with each other and cause a deactivation we're just going to remove these three and then restart and see if we can then reactivate windows okay now in this case the first update has been removed and I, it, I'm i being prompted to restart the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and restart it because I don't wanna remove all three updates and have a reversal of the process that caused this to begin with. So I'm gonna remove this one and then come back later and remove the other two if necessary. So the computer has been rebooted after removing the last update. And as you can see, the activation window is no longer there, which means it was related to the Windows update. So I'm gonna to go to the Windows settings, and as you can see here, it's no longer listed to activate Windows. Now I should be able to go to test it for sure. Now I'm gonna right click on the desktop and try to change my desktop settings. 
and if it's activated I should be able to change this and as you can see I can just like that now those were just a couple simple examples of how you can fix the activation issue sometimes it does get a little more complicated then you actually have to force a deactivation in order to reactivate but that's pretty rare usually the problem is malware related or a windows update so you can just simply go in there remove the last update restart the computer and you don't even have to do anything else it automatically reactivates but the only thing you should do after you remove that activation window is go back to the settings go back to update and security and go ahead and re-download any outstanding updates for windows that way once you've verified all the downloads have completed and there's no more activation issues you're good to go and you've got the latest version in this case there's the latest windows feature update which is windows 10 version 21 h1 it's the first of two major updates from microsoft so i'm going to go ahead and download and install this one and that way when i give it back to the customer it should have the absolute latest updates and everything's good to go so that's all you have to do if this video helped you please make sure you click on that like button for me comment down below if it helped you out as well i'd love to start a conversation with you and if you got enjoyment out of this video and you enjoy these types of videos click on that subscribe button for me as a small channel it really helps me out so much so until the next time have a great day